Thank you, Renau. Now, I always thought that this must be what it's like to be Pope. You go out and St. Peter's on the balcony and you look out and there's hundreds of thousands of people. So I would just like to bless you all in the name of Mason McCovey, Will Clark, Brooke and Kite, Lensicum, Kane, and Wilson. Amen. And we'd also like to introduce the man who is now the new Lieutenant Governor and the great mayor of the great city of San Francisco, the Honorable Gavin Newsom. What's next, Dave? Well, John, I think it's time to meet your 2010 World Series champion, San Francisco Giants. Let's meet him. First off, former Giants, first baseman, still with the ball club as an instructor and broadcaster, J.T. Snow. <laughs> former Giants shortstop, also now an instructor, Sean Dunstan. Here's the Giants catching instructor, bullpen catcher, Bill Hayes. The Giants great third base coach, Tim Flannery. The bench coach, Ron Wotus. Giants hitting coach, Hensley Bam Bam Mullins. First base coach, Roberto Kelly. Giants bullpen coach, Mark Gardner. And the old left-hander, the pitching coach, did a pretty good job, I thought. Dave Rigetti. How about the Giants skipper? His second World Series appearance as a manager, first with the Giants. I think he made all the right moves. Brought the Giants a World Championship with the trophy itself, Bruce Bochy. the members of the 2010 Giants ball club. Now, he was injured, he didn't have as much impact as he was hoping, but we'll be hearing a lot of him in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, infielder Emmanuel Burris. How about what this guy did, not just in the regular season, but in the postseason? The series clinching home run, you can start it against the Phillies in game six. The three run homer to get the Giants started in game one of the World Series. Shortstop Juan Uribe. We've seen a lot of him next year. Outfielder, infielder, great guy, Mark DeRosa. Played in 29 regular season games with the Giants. He's an infielder, he's an outfielder, Eugenio Velez. season there were lots of heroes for the Giants but nobody nobody hit more big home runs seventh inning or later he seemed to do it every couple of weeks down the stretch Bay Area native grew up a Giants fan outfielder Pat Burrow What a 
weapon this guy turned into on defense off the bench. He started a lot of games for the Giants. First baseman, Travis Ishikawa. Game one of the World Series, a Bay Area native. He grew up a Giants fan. Outfielder Nate Sherholz. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, called me this morning because they have a lot of memorabilia from this World Series, from the Giants, on display right now, including the batting helmet worn in the World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, the National League Championship Series MVP, here's Cody Ross. Important pickup mid-season, late season from the Chicago Cubs. He started four different postseason games for the Giants. Infielder Mike Fontno. One of the most exciting things I ever saw as a kid, Willie McCovey, 521 home runs, once bunted for a double. Travis Ishikawa, we saw him bunt, but we never thought we'd see a bunt from the Giants' home run and RBI leader, but there it was in the clinching game, Aubrey Huff! This next giant, so young to be the longest tenured member of the World Championship Giants, 2-0 in the postseason. He did not give up an earned run all postseason long. His cap from Game 2 of the World Series is in Cooperstown as we speak. Starting pitcher, Matt Cave. This guy knows how to make an entrance. First World Series, he hit a double. His first at bat, his second at bat, his third at bat, Giants second baseman, Freddy Sanchez. Backup catcher gunned down 12 runners in the regular season, hit a memorable home run against none other than Roy Halladay, Eli Whiteside. In game four, he hit a home run, and that pretty well did the Rangers in. And he hit a lot of home runs. He's the catcher of the Giants. Buster Posey! Infielder Ryan Rollinger. Ryan. In game four of the National League Championship Series, a huge play early on. This is one of the great postseason games ever played in Major League history, and one of the great plays of this postseason. He cut down the Phillies' Carlos Ruiz at the plate with an incredible throw. Outfielder. Aaron Rowan. I don't think 
any Giants fan is ever going to forget that night. Rockies were in San Francisco. Ovaldo Jimenez on the mound and his bad dash around the bases to help the Giants win a critical game. Outfielder Darren Ford. Ladies and gentlemen, I have only one phrase for our the next Giants player, Fear the Beard, Ryan Wilson! youngest left-handed pitcher in the history of the World Series. Eight shutout innings. The winning pitcher from game four and his cap from that game in the Hall of Fame, Madison Bumgarner. When the Giants beat the Phillies in game six, the bullpen went the last seven innings. And coming in first in the third inning, men all over the bases in a tie ball game, and he was critical to the Giants winning the pennant. Here he is, left-hander, Jeremy Affel. This next left-handed pitcher had his season cut short by injury, but I think we know he's got a bright future with the Giants. Dan Runzler. A giant bullpen was great down the stretch, and this guy maybe threw his heart, sometimes even harder than Brian Wilson. Giants reliever, Santiago Casilla. Season acquisition by Brian Sabian, relief pitcher, helped the Giants down the stretch. I'd say he gave a heck of a scouting report on those Rangers hitters, too. Chris Ray. In that great game four against the Phillies, he hit a two run double to put the Giants ahead. He is the Panda Pablo Sandoval. What left-handed reliever has ever had a better postseason than the next man, Javier Lopez? Another great member of the Giants bullpen acquired for the stretch run in a trade by Brian Sabian, right-hander Ramon Ramirez. Use the phrase fear the beard again. Right hand reliever Sergio Romo. Giants leadoff man. You want to race? Center fielder Andres Torres. Starting pitcher, a huge part of their success this year. Game three against the Braves struck out 11 Atlanta hitters. Jonathan Sanchez. This guy finished off game one, the Giants' first win in the World Series. Right-hander, Guillermo Moda. The Giants 
would not be here right now without his contributions from the regular season. The lefty, number 75, Barry Zito. This next guy's jersey is now at the Baseball Hall of Fame, the jersey he wore in Game 5. Yes, he won two games. He beat Cliff Lane twice. Sam Lichica. And last but not least, who's ever going to forget the moment from Game 5 in Texas? One of many great moments in his playoff career. Giants shortstop, 2010 World Series Most Valuable Player, Edgar Renteria. gentlemen once again please welcome the great mayor of the great city of San Francisco the Honorable Gavin Newsom How you all doing? the torture is over world champ giants you know it's good it's good we brought the Terminator here because it reminds us what we did to Atlanta it reminds us what we did to Philly, and it reminds us what we did to Texas. Don't mess with California. Thank you, Governor Schwarzenegger. Now, I saw, see, this is when it's good to be mayor. Because only I could get away with saying the following. I saw Eli get up, and he's got that deadhead shirt on. Now, now, wait a second. I am reminded what the late, great Jerry Garcia once said. He said, you don't want to be the best of the best. You want to be the only one that does what you do. That's our San Francisco Giants in 2010. Believe it. Believe it. How about a big round of applause? to Bruce, Bo Bruce Brochi and Brian Sabian that put this team together, that made this happen, that did the impossible. And how about, how about another big round of applause to the 2010 world champion, San Francisco Giants. each and every one of you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the fans, for all of you. A big round of applause to each and every one of you for not just coming out today, but every day to support this team. Now let me just say, you know, we're in a time of life where everyone's focused on what's wrong, but out here in San Francisco, here in California, we're focusing on what's right, the sense of spirit, that sense of pride, that sense of possibility is back in our proud city, and I'm proud of that, and you should be as well. Let me, let me close by asking Bill Newcomb to come up, representing the ownership of our San Francisco Giants, and I want to do something that we rarely get a chance to do. This is the highest honor that a city can bestow upon a dignitary. And it just seems appropriate that we bestow this honor today on this special day here in our great city and county of San Francisco. Charlotte Schultz will provide the countdown to the delivery 
of our key to the city and county of San Francisco. On behalf of the city and county, on behalf of all of you, on behalf of all of us, how proud we are, Bill. We thank your ownership. We thank you for everything you did this year. We thank you for the leadership. We thank you for your stewardship. And we congratulate you with this key representing the championship, world champion, 2010 San Francisco Giants. You gotta make it someone's day every day. Might as well make it San Francisco Giants Day in the city and county of San Francisco. And in closing, this town is gonna need another mayor soon. And I just have three words. Fear the beer. The